easily transform a boring garage, driveway, or basement floor into a beautiful, long-lasting space using Rust-Oleum Concrete and Garage Floor Paint Plus Primer. This video shows you how to tackle a garage floor project from start to finish. Before you begin, there are a few things you'll want to check on your floor. First, you'll want to see if it was previously sealed. To check, splash water on the concrete. If the water beads, your floor has a sealer. Typically, with a previously coated or sealed surface, you need to grind or sand the old coating off completely. However, Rust-Oleum offers an easy solution with our Recoat Primer, which allows you to prime right over the previously sealed surface. The second thing is to check for moisture issues with your concrete. Moisture can influence the effectiveness and success of the coating. To do this, securely tape a vapor barrier or plastic sheeting to the floor and leave it for 24 hours. If there is any moisture or condensation seen underneath the barrier after the wait time, use Rust-Oleum Moisture Stop before completing your garage floor. The last thing to check before you begin your project is the weather forecast. Temperatures should be between 50 to 90 degrees and humidity below 85% for proper application. If rain is expected within 48 hours of applying your coating, you should wait until the forecast is clear. Once you're ready to start, move everything out of the garage. The project takes a few days to complete, so be sure you store everything away safely. Now you're ready to prep your space. Start by sweeping away any dust or debris. Next, using protective eyewear and gloves, spot treat any stubborn, heavy stains with Rust-Oleum Cleaner and Degreaser in full strength. Then, pour Rust-Oleum Cleaner and Degreaser into a bucket and add one gallon of water to dilute it. Working in 10 foot by 10 foot sections, pour the Cleaner and Degreaser solution directly onto the floor. Then, use a scrub brush and some elbow grease to work it into the surface. After the floor has been thoroughly washed, rinse away any cleaning solution. Be sure to remove all remaining suds. Use a squeegee to remove any leftover water. Now you're ready to etch the floor. Etching is a process that opens the pores of the surface and ensures maximum adhesion of the new coating. You'll need to do this to any areas of exposed concrete where the previous coating or sealant has peeled or flaked. Slowly pour the entire concrete etch into a large watering can and add two gallons of water. Sprinkle the solution and scrub with a hard bristled brush. The etching solution may fizz for a few seconds while being scrubbed. That's a normal part of this process. Once the fizzing stops, rinse this solution off with clean water while scrubbing the areas you etched. If you don't experience any fizzing, be sure to wait a minimum of five minutes before rinsing. You'll want to repeat the rinsing and scrubbing steps two times to make sure no solution remains on the surface. Squeegee out any remaining water. You'll need to let the floor completely dry for 24 hours before continuing. You know it's dry when there are no dark spots and it feels dry to the touch. Now it's time to repair any cracks or holes in the concrete. Rust-Oleum Patch and Repair is a great solution for filling in any small cracks or divots in the floor. It's a two-part epoxy that creates a material stronger than concrete. Before you get started, be sure to remove any remaining dirt and debris from the cracks. You'll need a clean piece of cardboard and a putty knife to mix the two parts together. Try not to allow any mixing within the separate containers. Mix the epoxy according to the directions on the package. Mix only what you'll use in 20 to 30 minutes because the epoxy will harden and you don't want to waste it. Mix the two parts together until it has a putty-like consistency. Use a putty knife to spread and level the epoxy evenly over all damaged areas. Once done, allow the epoxy to dry according to the package directions. Once the patched spots are totally dry, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is priming the floor. Since this garage floor was previously sealed, we will be using Rust-Oleum Recoat Primer. If you have bare concrete, priming is not needed. Start priming by trimming the edges with a brush, working in 4x4 sections. 
Be sure to always start at the back of the garage and work out. You don't want to paint yourself into a corner. And don't forget to make sure you have another way to get back into your house. Use a high quality 3 8 inch roller to roll on the primer. It's important to keep lint from getting into your paint. A great way to do this is to de-lint the roller by passing the roller back and forth over a wide piece of painter's tape to remove any loose particles before use. Rolling in a W and M pattern will ensure even coverage and avoid any lap lines. Try not to let product puddle and maintain a wet edge as you work. If your concrete is really worn or porous, be sure to apply the paint in all the crevices of the surface. Continue until the entire floor is completely primed. One coat is all you need for the garage coating to adhere. The primer will need to dry for a minimum of six hours, but don't wait more than 48 hours before applying the top coat. Once the primer is completely dry, you're ready to apply the garage coating of your choice. Today, we are going to apply Rust-Oleum Concrete and Garage Floor Paint and Primer with decorative chips. This floor paint has great durability that can withstand exterior applications, so keep it in mind for any driveways and sidewalks that you may want to coordinate. Remember, if rain is expected in the next 48 hours, you should wait until the forecast is clear. If not, you're ready to coat your floor. Using protective gloves, open the can of Rust-Oleum Concrete and Garage Floor Paint and Primer. This paint is a great time saver because it's ready to use and only needs a single coat application. If you're using more than one can, pour them together in a bucket to ensure color uniformity. Stir the paint with a stir stick and pour it into a paint tray. Then, starting from the back of the garage, use a good paintbrush to cut in the edges of a 4 foot by 4 foot section. This should allow you to avoid getting paint on your walls. Then, use a good quality 3 8 inch nap roller to roll the paint onto the floor. Continue cutting in and applying the paint across the back wall. Maintain a wet edge to prevent any gloss difference. Decorative chips are a great way to enhance the look of your floor and help hide any surface imperfections. If you like the look of decorative color chips, add them as you paint each 4x4 section. This is done by tossing them into the air and letting them fall evenly onto the wet coating. Leave a 6 to 12 inch section of wet film without chips. That area will get covered when the next section is coated. Continue working from the back of the garage forward until the entire floor is coated. Let the floor dry for 24 hours. Now it's ready for the Rust-Oleum Clear Top Coat. We recommend using an optional concrete and garage top coat as it will extend the life of your coating by providing enhanced protection. The top coat is available in a variety of finishes. If you're not applying a top coat, allow the floor to dry for five days. To start, open the can of clear top coat and mix with a stir stick. Then pour in the optional anti-skid additive and thoroughly mix using a stir stick. The anti-skid additive creates a barefoot-friendly anti-slip finish to the floor. Transfer the mixture into a tray and trim in the edges, working in 4x4 sections. Then, roll on the top coat evenly using a W and M pattern. Be sure to maintain a wet edge as you move from one section to the next to prevent any gloss differences. Continue this process, working from the back of the garage forward. Once finished, the floor will be ready for light foot traffic in just 12 hours, heavier foot traffic in 24 hours, and for vehicle traffic in five days. Now, you can enjoy your beautiful and durable garage floor.